Are you a PC gamer looking for a light, customizable mouse that gives you the option of going wireless or wired? I got you. And we're back, DLG fam. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to all the new viewers. Gracias por tomar el tiempo en venir a nuestro canal. So, guys, I did mention PC gamers, right? So, I play on the PC once in a while because... I tend to get really tired from my wrist, from all the moving around on the mouse, especially when the mouse is rather heavy. So today we're going to review a mouse by a company called Dream Machines based out of Poland. Yes, I have reviewed a mouse from this company before. And you know what guys, to my surprise, it's actually a good mouse. And this particular mouse comes in at only 79 grams. And what mouse is that? The Dream Machine DM7 Switch Duo, a customizable mouse. Yes, you heard that right. Guess what you can do with this particular mouse. Check this out. You press the button in the middle, pull on the buttons, and it uncovers this section here. So this particular section, you're actually able to pull out the actual switches that control the right and left click on the mouse. Look at that right there, guys. Man, that is crazy. This is a first for me. I've never seen a customizable mouse when it comes to the actual switches. I've seen customizable keyboards where you can actually pull out the keys, take out the switches, and, you know, put in those linear switches or mechanical switches. I'm not too sure what they're called. Let me know down in the comments below. But you're able to switch out and fully customize the keyboard. Now, you could do the same with this particular mouse. Dream Machines offers three different types of switches for this particular mouse. They offer the Juano, the Kail, and the Omron. This mouse comes with the Kail GM 8.0 pre-installed on the mouse itself. And let me tell you guys, this mouse is really light. And the fact that it is light, you're able to flick your wrist around a lot more quicker and you don't get as tired as you would with a regular heavy mouse or a wired mouse because this mouse you could use it either way wireless and the wireless adapter is actually on the bottom of the mouse itself there it is right there look at that so pull this out pop this in your computer you're ready to go wirelessly so the adapter is actually an rf connector and the shoelace cable you actually get 1.8 meters of cable and the cable is a usb type c that goes into the mouse itself and a usb type a on the other end that goes into your pc the sensor is a pixar 3370 the dpi you're able to get with this mouse is 400 800 1600 3200 5000 and a whopping 19,000 dpi i'm not too sure who rolls with a 19,000 DPI? Let me know down in the comments below if you're actually able to play with those type of settings on your mouse. So the lift off on the sensor is actually 1.8 millimeters. That is crazy. So that means that you slightly lift it off and you're still able to get that precise punch so you could defeat your opponent. All right, so where do you switch the DPI settings? You press this button on the bottom of the mouse and you're able to cycle through all the six different DPI settings that I mentioned before. I think this is a good area to put the DPI settings because I do have other mouses that have the DPI switch right on the thumb, which would end up being right on the side where the side buttons are. And I find myself accidentally pressing them at times so that might be a great plus on it. I don't know. Let me know how you feel down in the comments below as to where the DPI settings button is located. As far as the switches go, the Kail GM 8.0, the 8.0 stands for 80 million clicks. So that means you're able to get 80 million clicks on each of the switches that's on the mouse. So I am going to show you some gameplay of me attempting to get down and dirty on Warzone using this particular mouse. <laughs> Man, that was a crazy war zone session. With this mouse, the fact that it's so light, even when you're using the actual shoelace cable, it actually allowed me, as you saw in the gameplay, to be able to react quickly when the enemy was upon me so I could attempt and take him out. You're actually able to get some precise shots, although I was not able to get those precise shots because I'm not that good with it. That's why I don't stick to sniper rifles. But other than that, the mouse performed quite well. Let me know down in the comments below if you actually own the Dream Machines DM7 Switch Duo and let me know your thoughts. The mouse itself, I actually feel it could be a lot more better as far as the design goes. Yeah, you do get the click wheel and you get the customizable buttons and the side buttons and it is light. But the fact that it does not have an ergonomical shape 
at least for me, I get tired from my wrist and also the way that you hold it, as you guys can see, I have rather big hands. So if they're able to create a design for the mouse when you're actually gripping the mouse itself, it feels like you're naturally holding it and you're not trying to force your fingers to be in a weird position, that would be amazing. So how much is it? Well, it's $79.99 on their website. And if you're interested in upgrading or getting extra switches, just in case you do go through 80 million clicks, each pair of switches is actually $9.99. So that's not bad. You know, you get two switches for 10 bucks, so you get $5 a switch. So the Kayo switch has a life expectancy of 80 million clicks and a medium hardness and the feedback as far as the click sound goes, you're actually able to hear it. The Juano has a life expectancy of 20 million clicks and the hardness is big and as far as the feedback goes, is the same just like the Kyle. Now, if you don't like the clicking sound, you could go with the Omron switch which has a low feedback and a low hardness which will be a lot more softer to click but you will not get this clicky sound. And the only thing about that particular switch, you only get 20 million clicks. But then if you think about it, that is a lot of clicks either way. 20 million, 50 million, 80 million, that is a lot. So a very important thing on the mouse itself, because I did say wireless, right? Well, what is that? That is the battery life. You get a whopping 72 hours of gameplay. This might be a great mouse for all those people that actually do those marathons where they play like all these bunch of hours in a row this thing won't die out on you. This mouse itself actually does have a little bit of RGB which is actually located on the bottom of the mouse as you guys can see right there. It does have a little light right in the middle of both buttons as you guys can see. The max speed on this mouse is 7 milliseconds and the polling rate is 1000 hertz. So let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of this mouse. I think it's a good deal for $80. A mouse that's actually customizable where you can swap out the actual switches and when the switches give out. Hey, buy a new pair. You don't need to replace the entire mouse and it's wireless. You could go wired if you want can't get any better than that so if you're a dad a gaming dad looking for a mouse that's customizable just like your car don't forget to check out my latest video but till next time guys i'm tech peace out so if you're a dad